Adecker's Ghost of Toshima Director's Cut is finally here for the Steam Deck, and it's running very well indeed. Well, at least the single player is, anyway. However, there is some strange quirks. That is, if you don't have HDR on, especially on the OLED deck, it looks absolutely hideously dark or massively over bright. Now at night, if you don't have HDR on, good luck trying to navigate around on your screen. As you can see, it's almost unplayable and that's because it defaults to the 50% brightness. But if you do have HDR on, it makes quite a difference. Now, if you do go back to non HDR and dial it up to 100% brightness, it does become somewhat playable. However, it's still incredibly dark and difficult to play around with. Now for the rest of the settings, I will recommend that we go with a medium preset and then tweak this slightly. So start with medium, motion blur off, texture quality on high, texture filtering on four times anthropic, shadow quality on low, volumetric fog on low, depth of field very low or off if you don't like it at all, all the screen space on low and ambient occlusion on performance and then vignette off preferably but you can obviously have that on if you just want that effect and this will get you for the most part 40 to 50 frames per second now i will recommend that you cap the deck at 40 on the lcd and 45 on the oled but as you can see without that hdr mode on even with that 100 percent brightness it's really quite dark and a little bit broken even around the springs which should be bright and vibrant so if I turn that HDR on, again, you have to bring that brightness back down because it then really overexposes it. But around 50 to 60 on the brightness with HDR on, especially on the OLED deck, this looks absolutely phenomenal. Now, the screen capture still doesn't quite do it justice. It looks a lot better on the Steam Deck screen itself, but you will see that performance sticking around the 40 to 50 frames per second mark with that AMD FSR 3 quality mode. And I will recommend that they keep that on just to keep that performance a little bit more consistent up at that higher level, giving you around 22 watts on the battery drain. So you can get about two hours, two and a half hours on the OLED. You're probably only going to get about an hour and a half max on the LCD. We will continue to tweak this and keep an eye on the patches because there's definitely something weird with that performance. And hopefully they'll sort out the HDR versus non HDR brightness so that we can get a little bit more consistent on the colors. But if you are playing on the OLED deck, then you are going to absolutely love the visuals of this game. And if you turn that frames per second counter off, you're not gonna have any issues with these settings. Let us know in the comments below if you're gonna be diving into this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. They fight like drunk Tanuki. They fought well enough at Komoda. Even Tanuki can catch a tiger when it's sleeping.